Just got back from Columbus, Ohio. Back in LA in my unfurnished apartment. I have this nice couch here that came with it, and that's it. So I'm facing you guys, empty apartment. I want to talk to you guys a little bit about what I do. So being at the Arnold, the question I get most often is, Steve, what do I need to do to get to get sponsored? Or how do I get to travel around the world and, and work for a supplement company? It's, it's a great gig, I'm not gonna lie. A lot of hard work goes into it, just like anything else. You have to start at the bottom and work your way to the top. So how I got into the fitness industry is I played college football and then I needed an outlet to still compete in my life. I needed something to still be able to push my body because if you're an athlete, or if you're a competitive person by, by nature, that just doesn't stop once you stop doing a sport. You know, that, that you're always, you're that type of person or you're not. So after I got done playing college football, I needed that outlet. I tried out for the NFL, fractured my ankle, um, had a brief like little mini tryout with the, the Titans, you could call it, that came to my school. But I was a decent football player. But what I really loved is training. I loved the, the I would do my bodybuilding stuff, I would do my football stuff. I was in the gym a ton in college. so. I always looked at bodybuilding as something I might want to do. Had my Arnold Encyclopedia throughout college and, and would read it religiously, do workouts from it. So it was natural for me to want to get into it. From there, um, so after football, I looked at doing a natural bodybuilding contest. An NGA show is what it was. It was in Boise, Idaho. Um, I got with a local bodybuilder there. And then from there, I started looking at other competitions to do. Um, did the Muscle Mania in Las Vegas. Um, I did an uh, Alaskan Bodybuilding Federation, and then I did the Muscle and Fitness, or uh, well first I did the, the Body Space um, Fit Body Contest. It wasn't even the Body Space, it was the Bodybuilding.com Fit Body Contest. Like the spokesmodel search, but not quite a, as big a deal. I won that, and then I did the Muscle and Fitness Male Model Search in Las Vegas, and I won that, and that's when I got on some people's radars. So I made a comp card after I won the, the Bodybuilding.com Fit Body Search. I got with a photographer, I was in good shape, um, I had a Euro mullet, pretty awesome. What I did is I went to these to these expos like the Arnold, like the Olympia, and I passed out these comp cards and had my height, where I was from, any certificates I had at the time. I think it was just NASM, um, my biology psychology degree, and then I talked asked to talk to the athletes manager. The athletes manager usually is at there's one at each booth. They, they deal with tons and tons and tons of people. So you have to be memorable. Because what companies want is they want you to be humble, you need to be hard working. I remember after I won that body, uh, that body space, or no, it was the Fit Body Contest, um, bodybuilding.com, I wasn't an athlete yet, they asked me to work some of the, their booth. And I remember some people just wanting to be there to hang out with Jamie Eason. She uh, was their big spokesperson at the time. And um, you know, some people didn't even want to like break down cardboard. You have to be willing to do whatever it takes. And that usually, if you're the hardest working person at the booth, you're going to get asked back. So I, I kind of gave them my time in hopes for, for some publicity on their website. But step by step, I started creating a little bit of a brand. I started t taking pictures with different photographers, and then I won the spokesmodel search. And when that happened, I had two companies come to me and say, hey, we'd like to, to offer you a sponsorship to be an athlete. And I'm gonna tell you guys right now, there is, I don't care if you get your pro card, I don't care if you win the Arnold, I don't care what it is, unless you have some sort of a following or unless you, uh, you know, when you're first starting off, you're not gonna get some big old contract. You, you gotta be willing to work for that. So I, I started off pretty much supplements. Supplements and a little tiny monthly salary, really little, and, um, I was happy with it. You know, I, I, there was two companies, and obviously I went with Optimum because I was using Optimum products from the very get-go. But what happened from there is I told Optimum, send me as many places as you can. Send me all over the, the world. I'll make sure I'm available. And I had a bachelor's degree at this point in time. Um, I worked at a restaurant so I could make sure I could take off anytime I want. The restaurant was really the only job I could work where I could request time off or get people to cover my shifts and really travel the world like I wanted to. I had some really cool, cool um, bosses, you know, cool managers that, that realized what, I didn't want to work at a restaurant for the rest of my life and they respected that. Um, so I gave it my time, wasn't making any more money, but I was going around the globe to expos. When I was at the expos, I wanted to be the first person um, there at the beginning of the day and I wanted to make sure I, I got through everyone or talked to everyone that wanted to talk, took pictures, was goofy, was fun. And that just kind of grew. And from there, you know, you have to have a social media presence. So when I say social media, you have YouTube, 
you have Facebook, you have Instagram, you have Twitter. You have to be active on these things. You have to be engaging. You have to be talking with your with the people that are following you and asking you questions. So the first thing I always tell people to come up and say, hey, how do, how do I do what you do? You gotta put in the time and effort. You gotta, you, you're not gonna make the big bucks, you're not gonna be in magazine ads right off the bat. Go to a company, say you're willing to do whatever it takes. It might be just working 10 hours at expos. It might be doing monthly or even weekly demos at your local you know, supplement stores or gyms. You gotta put in the time. Just like anything else, you start at the bottom and you work your way up. From there, you make sure that you know if you want to compete, compete. You don't have to, but you have to be in good shape. You have to represent this lifestyle. So making videos of your training, your tips, always kind of progressing your education. That's that's the name of the game. Um, and there's there's a lot of people out there that are known for different things. You know, I can think of so many different people in this industry that kind of have a niche. You have young, successful people that are, are doing clothing lines, Christian Guzman. You have people like Brad, Bradley Martin, who's crazy strong, and like you know, he posts these crazy strong like feats of strength type thing. Callum's hilarious. You got Sean Stafford with just great hair and an awesome English accent. It's right here. It's <laughs> right here. <laughs> and then, uh, so yeah, you have to yeah. And again, uh, there's people. You know, Sean started off as a competitor. Callum was a competitor. Bradley competed, was never, you know, never, that was never his, his claim to fame. Same with Christian, they do it, but it's more as just a goal to have. All these people produce great content. They're, they're confident, they're educated, um, they're, they're good with people. And that's, that's that common thread with everyone, is they're good with people. They enjoy what they're doing in life, and people feed off that. You have to have that infectious personality that makes other people either want to be like you or want to do what you're doing. So another part of the job is being on the road a lot. You have to be willing, going all over the world. It's great. Traveling can be tough on a physique. It can be tough mentally. But again, you're doing it as a job. So when I go to these expos, I'm not there to party. There's always people that, that want to go out after and, and have a good time. It's fine to go to dinner, especially as often when we go to dinner. But if you're not getting to bed somewhat early, you're not gonna be making a career out of it. So when I go to an expo, I try to look at it as a job. You're there for the people that come to the booth. You're there to help answer their questions. And I appreciate everyone who comes to these expos is that they're all super, super energetic. And it's so easy for me to feed off of that energy. But each person in line is an individual. Each person has a story, something that makes them unique. And really more than anything, what I love doing is really learning about that person and I, and I think about everyone is you know if they were my brother and sister how would I how would I want somebody to talk to them if they if each person in that line is is somebody that has family somebody that has has ups and downs has trial and the nice thing is we're kind of all in this together or you know it's it, we're all we all share that commonality of, of fitness so expos have the best energy they're exhausting but if you can get with a supplement company and, and be at an expo, be that person that has that energy, that positivity that's gonna spread and be infectious. And what happens is people, they meet you and they feel that and they wanna spread that to their friends and they tell other people about it. That right there is, is, is as gold as, as looking amazing, as, as being the best person, um, you know, the best in shape or, or the, the best looking. Like that personality stuff is what really I think uh, people hold de ne near and dear to their hearts. So if you're somebody who's out there, don't get discouraged if you hear no. Don't get discouraged if you go to a supplement company and you hear no. Just keep going because there's a there's hundred companies out there that you could do stuff with. All it takes is one yes. And be that person that's willing just to do whatever it takes to get your foot in the door. And then once you have that, don't take it for granted. Don't be out partying. Be the hardest working person at that expo or on that team. Anyhow, thanks for uh, coming to the Arnold, guys. It was crazy. I'm home for two days, and then we're off to Australia to do it all again. We're going to be in Brisbane. We're going to be in Adelaide. We're going to be in Melbourne. We're going to be in Sydney. We're going to be doing things, uh, meet and greets, workouts. So make sure you guys follow my social media. Um, also, Optimum social media in Australia if you guys are there. And then we're back at it here in the States for a little bit, over to, to Sweden this year, to England, to China. Pretty much, I just gonna be traveling nonstop, which is why I need to get this apartment together so when I come home, I feel like I have a place to, to lay down. Steve Cook, I'm out. So we made it to LA, the sun is shining. It is a good day. I'm a little intimidated. I met the lady who owns this place, she's great, but hard